Hi, we're a group of original i3 fans. We've made some upgrades to our original i3 and made a long-awaited big improvement. As makers, we 3D print all sorts of amusing and practical things. When printing with the original i3, we found it stable and easy to use. However, some problems make this machine not so perfect, especially these ripples across the whole surface, which not only affects the appearance, but also causes problems on practical prints, like extra friction and even extra wear. We experienced this issue shortly after Mark III was released, and we can still experience this problem in the following versions, including the latest one. This issue has attracted a lot of discussion in communities since early 2018. Some people call it Vertical Fine Artifact, or VFA, which is commonly used later on. So what is VFA? What are these ripples across the surface exactly? We printed many test models with all sorts of shapes and geometries. When we print vertical surfaces, these ripples are vertical, but on inclined surfaces, they are oblique, and on a curved surface, they are curved. VFA is not always vertical. If we connect these ripples in space, they are all aligned on these evenly separated planes parallel to the xy axis. The VFA positions relative to xy are fixed. The so called VFA is a periodic rippling across the whole print surface that appears on fixed xy positions. We also found that VFA is strengthened at a certain speed range. We tested many different printing speeds, and it turned out VFA gets worse at a certain speed. Dramatically, for original i3 in Slicer software, the speed and quality preset is almost the VFA max speed. So when we try to get a quality print on i3, VFA shows up. What about other printers? It turned out that VFA is not unique to original i3. VFA is found on every 3D printer we tested, but appears at different speed ranges. So VFA is a commonly unsolved problem in 3D printing. Since VFA strength is speed relative, we can reduce it by avoiding the VFA terrible speed range. So we have to lower the speed to gain quality, despite sacrificing a lot of efficiency. We integrated the speed settings we found into a preset profile for everyone to download for free. To better solve VFA, we tested and studied the parts that might affect VFA. We rolled out some possibilities and locked on the motor. With further tests, we found that even if the motor is detached from the printer, running independently, it still vibrates at the same period as VFA patterns. And the motor vibration intensity varies under different speeds, which also explains why the VFA strength varies. This means VFA is directly due to the resonance of motors. Since this problem is caused by motor resonance, we believe motor resonance rippling, or MRR, is a better name. In order to tackle MRR at the source, we tested and studied the vibrations of different motors. We noticed that some motors have less vibrations than the others, which gave less MRR. This inspired us to develop a motor with vibration greatly suppressed. By optimizing the strength of the magnet, the quality of the rotor, the shape of the stator, the air gap size, and the winding of the coils, etc. We have exceeded in developing a motor specialized for 3D printing. We produce the new motors with strict standards, including vibration tests for each motor with reports and brought this upgrade kit for i3. The Prorified upgrade kit greatly suppressed MRR and greatly improved print quality. Also, the noise is reduced with vibration. And the motor efficiency is also optimized, which results in less heat, more stability, and a longer lifespan. In addition, we can avoid resonance by adjusting the natural frequency to further suppress MRR. So we designed an overkilled but not overpriced extruded aluminum frame with optimized printed parts. With all these upgrades, your i3 will be almost MRR free, taking the print quality to the next level and become a nearly perfect ultimate 3D printer. For more information about technical details and the upgrade kit, please visit our website.